Good morning and welcome to your daily weather report with me, SDK. So today on slot 1 to slot 4 is going to be all red, volcanic red, 100 over 100 red. We are broken, hungry and angry. Let's move on. Okay, there will be claps of thunder and storms of people trekking from place to place after the increment in lorry fares. Looking at how things are going, if you are inviting someone somewhere better at sea levy, yes, car levy, it's surprising that they have not asked us for Queen Lizzie levy already. We have not gotten job, no better roads or improvement in living, you know, in living conditions. Now, small car we will be taking from place to place to fornicate to has been more expensive. Prices of donkeys and horses to increase soon. Moreover, hot, hot, the weather is hotter than ever these past days, with mismanagement of the economy hitting an all-time high with pure water, pure water, becoming more expensive than it has ever been, as Adu Ferro and his men have struck us with taxes and hardships just to get money to fill their pockets and take their slay queens on expensive, you know, dates and trips. We can't even buy water to quench the dryness. We could have gone back to Penin de Penin, but our water bodies are more dirtier than Tortoise made Ampit. It's very sad. It's very, very, very sad. A huge storm is hovering over the African entertainment industry as Nigerians aim to take over another country's genre by renaming it as theirs. After convincing the world they are the originators of Afrobeat, they have set their eyes on South Africa's Ama Piano. In recent posts from Nigerian media, they claim they have created something new called Afro Piano, which is a blend of Afro beats and Ama Piano. However, South African pianist Ama Fizewele, who is the pioneer of Ama Piano, said, I like their spirit for wanting to be innovative, but there's nothing like Afro Piano. It will always be Ama Piano. If they want to be innovative, they should find ways of making better jollof and creating new means of getting electricity. The darkness is getting to them. Batong di wele onga ilelei wele kusi. Okay, so moving on, there has been storms of anger and outrage on American Twitter and film Twitter in general after the trailer of Little Mermaid was released. It is surprising that white people who have been eating in other people's culture are complaining about Mami Water being black. One Twitter account had this to say, There has been more black people thrown into the sea during slavery for Arya not to be black. Another one said he hopes Tom Hansen isn't the one playing Sebastian. And on our last report, on 30th September, it will be very cloudy and rainy with a lot of laughter in the air around the National Theatre area. As Lexi the Comic will be having his Too Cute to be Mute comedy show. Hmm. Now hold on. Um, you know, upon all the names in the world, he chose too cute to be mute. <laughs> what happened to too short to be noticed? Too ugly to be found? Too small to be seen? I mean, the list goes on and on. Anyway, tickets are going for cool hundred cities. If you need tickets and inquiries, call this line down there. Thank you, and this is your daily weather report with me, SDK. Catch me same time as I... Hey, cut it on. Cut it.